I just hear something today, man. I was going through it. Had a little battle about 10 o'clock this morning at 9. And uh, instead of biting on the biscuit, I, uh, I reached down to that one person, that one person, like the worst one of, in, in my case, not worst, but like the one I was having the most difficulty with. He was out there by himself. We had the hall beams today, but he was out there by himself in the yard, man. That one guy. And I chose to go help him, man. I chose to go, I chose to go help that guy. The one that I, I'm seeing the differences in, I chose to go help him. Instead of running around the yard and whispering and, and, and trying to trying to get people against him. You know what I mean? Taking my frustration, whatever happened to me, out on him. Just because me and him has, has tangoed in the past. Nah, man. Now, when you have tough, when you have stuff hit you personally, if you reach out and help someone else, your stuff don't even it ain't even there no more, man. That's what we're built to do. We're we're a body of Christ, man. We're you know we're one body, man. We're all His kids. And just because someone ain't seeing what you're seeing, that don't mean they don't deserve prayers and love, man. Real talk, amen. But uh. I just share a little something, with, something about that with you, man, and, and, and for me personally today, it, it, it helped me. It helped me. I worked for about four or five hours at the end of the day. We, we talked, and it was like a like a new relationship and, and, and sparked back up. And that's the cool thing about being a Christian. It's, it's the reborn part. You get to start over. Not yet, daily. Daily. Every day, God makes a new day for that day. Every day, you get to start over, man. You don't get to carry yesterday into the day. That's not how it works. You start over, you, you leave your past, you leave your past in the past, and you keep going. You keep growing, you learn, you love. You keep pressing forward. I had to share that with you guys. And another one, man, I uh, I ran across a little deal. If you run across stuff in life, if you can't end your, your conversation, if you can't end your comment with, and that's the way I want it, you probably shouldn't be saying it, man. It probably ain't from the from the Father, you know what I mean? It probably ain't for you, man. If, if like for instance, uh, the negative talk, I can't do this and I can't do that. If you're always saying that stuff, if you end each one of those comments with, and that's the way I want it, it's gonna sound pretty silly, ain't it? So. Try to remember that when you're getting into battles or, or heated conversations or anything through life. When you're speaking about yourself, when you're speaking in general, if you can't end it with, and that's the way I want it, you probably shouldn't be saying it, man. It's probably death talking. It ain't no life talking. There ain't no life talking there. Not with that. You gotta speak life. We are this, this tongue right here, that tongue, it's very powerful. It's a very powerful thing. Even while you're whispering to yourself, yes, sir, yes, sir. But man, I had to share that with you guys. And uh, you sit at the house, man, uh, choking on some good herb and uh, cranking on some music, man, and uh, loving life, bro. I'm in the garden right now, man. I'm in the garden of Eden. I am free. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Woo, woo. Y'all ain't got Jesus in you, man. Get your butt down there and get some Jesus in you. You ain't got to go nowhere. You can do it right here. Right here. Jesus is right here, bro. Jesus ain't in Canada. He ain't Africa. He ain't. Jesus is right here. He's in every one of us. Reach down there and grab him, bro. Real talk. Real talk. I want you guys to know something. I sincerely love every one of y'all I even love people that I don't even know yes sir once I got my call no more Saul now I'm Paul thank you Jesus thank you Father y'all take care man keep pushing Godspeed and God bless